just keep living inspires me. And I'm not suicidal, but I am a soul trapped in a body. I didn't ask to be born, and I am afraid to die. That was a quote from a comedian named Jen Kirkman. You can watch her special called Just Keep Living? Question mark on Netflix. It's a it's an original that just popped up recently. I started watching. I, I'm not even all the way through watching it, but at the at the minute marker of 16 and a half, that's when she says that quote. And it's interesting because it's challenging. It's challenging to me because I think if we're honest, is that a cliche yet or is that a hashtag yet? I don't know. If we're honest, then we've all ultimately had those thoughts. You know, no, I'm not suicidal. I don't think about dying all the time. I really don't. But I do recognize that I'm more than just a physical body. I recognize that there's something inside of me that's going to go beyond my body dying at some point. So yeah, I am that soul trapped in that body. I didn't ask to be born, you know? Uh, and ultimately, am I afraid to die? To some degree. I mean, you know, like, I, I firmly believe in, in Christ. I'm a Christian. That's what I believe. All right, I believe in the life after this. I believe that we're held accountable for the life that we live here. I, I believe that we're all judged. And if we think we're, that we're a good person, then we're wrong <laughs> because we're all not good enough. At least I'm not good enough. I, I, the older I get, the more I realize I'm not as good of a person as I thought Like because I, I become more of a responsible person. When I got married eight years ago and when I had my first child and now my second, I realized, man, there's a lot of selfishness in me that I had to sacrifice to become what I needed to be for the people around me. And yeah, I was, I was not that good of a person. I'm becoming a better person, but the more I learn and the more I, in theory, become a better person, the more I realize I'm not a good enough person. But it's an uncomfortable quote that Jen Kirkman has in her special. It really is. I mean, it's like, it, even just hearing that, even you just watching me in this video talk about it for a few minutes, it makes us feel uncomfortable. And not that that's a bad thing. We need to feel comfortable at least on a daily basis, right? Because that lack of comfort causes us to make a decision in our life. Am I going to do something about this and move forward? Or am I going to be held back? Am I going to be victorious in this? Or am I going to allow myself to be a victim and be washed away? So we can't hear, I can't hear a quote like that and not be moved by it. Let me just read it one more time. Just keep living inspires me. I'm not suicidal but I am a soul trapped in a body. I didn't ask to be born and I am afraid to die. And then like, that's, that's an annoying thing too. And I've, I've thought about that. Like seriously, since I was probably in kindergarten, I've thought, you know what? I didn't ask to be born. You know, like I, re my life started in 1981. I don't really have a memory until about 80, 1983. I can remember parts of my second birthday party, which I guess I hear is unusual to even remember that much. But I remember like, by the time I was in kindergarten thinking, so at one point I just wasn't in this body and I wasn't on this earth. Well, what, what, what before, you know? And it's like, it would be convenient, honestly, as even as a Christian being honest, it would be convenient if once we die, we just go back to that same state that from when we, before we were born, when we weren't aware of anything, we didn't really exist, nothing. That would be convenient because what that would mean is that I'm not held accountable for the life that I live. As much as I try to be a good person and help other people and do good and provide for my family and care for them and love for them and respect for them, all those good things, it, ultimately in the end, it'd be convenient if I'm really not held accountable to what I do. If as long as I can do bad things in secret, no one's going to know about it and I get away with it, we're good. That would be convenient. Not that I'm doing bad things, but ultimately, I know if nothing else, we're all greedy, selfish people. We are, we are. It's almost impossible not to gossip. And yet the Bible clearly talks, speaks against that a lot. And it's easy to overlook that and, and, and say the cliche like, well, I'm not an ax murderer and we compare ourselves to someone worse. But in reality, I think a foundational concept of Christianity is none of us are good enough. None of us. And only Christ is, 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 is the, good enough. He's the only savior for us. So none of us are good enough. And that's, that's an inconvenient thing to hear because we want to believe that we're good enough. And the older I get though, the more I realize I'm not a good person. I do need to, to be saved. And I do want faith in, 
in knowing what happens next. I want to know that there is another kingdom coming uh, and I want to be a part of it. That I, I, See, for me, I, I just don't have enough faith to believe in anything else. For me, <laughs> if I'm being honest, and there, here's the hashtag again, if we're honest, I don't think I have enough faith to, to be anything other than a Christian. I think Christianity ultimately requires the least amount of faith, at least for me, because like if I were agnostic, I'd still have to have a lot of belief in not knowing. And if I had, if I were an atheist, I'd have to have too much faith in definitely believing there is no God and I could never do that. And other religions, they just don't seem to really address the issue that we truly are corrupted people like we're ultimately we want to help other people but ultimately we're selfish and like that's going to be a constant struggle for for us for 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 people you know you know the concept of world peace you know why doesn't that exist you know why is it that you don't have to to uh train a, a baby to do the wrong thing you have to train them to do the right thing so i'm i'm just so grateful to have watched this part of this thing but Jen Kirkman just keep living because it reminds me fundamentally that this comes down to my beliefs and, and just you watching this video today it I feel it makes it puts you in somewhat of an uncomfortable situation where you have to think about these things too you know what do you have enough faith in no one has no faith if nothing else you believe that you have faith that when you sit down in that chair it's not gonna break and that's faith right so but yeah, I mean, think about that. We are going to die. Most people who've ever lived have already died. They've already, they're already there. And they've went through this. But we can't just sit back and, and, and relax. We have to address this. We have to have a game plan, an exit strategy. And ultimately, my exit strategy affects my life here. Not that I would be an axe murderer if I wasn't a Christian. But ultimately, it helps me realize more of, of of what keeps me from being a perfect person. Again, not that anyone would ever think I'm perfect, and especially not me, but it's those little things, man. It's it's the selfishness. It's the tendency to be involved in gossip. It's something as little as that. It's, it's as little as judging other people, maybe even judging other people for being an axe murderer. Well, at least I'm not an axe murderer. Even that ultimately makes me a judgmental person, right? And I want nothing to do with those things. And I'll never be cured of those things, but I am being conscious in my uh, attempts to, to be a more righteous person. And yes, yeah, so I go to a church and together we, this is what we work on together as we ultimately believe that our faith is in Christ and not in nothing and not in doubt, but fully realizing we're not good enough. That's the whole point. You know, there, there's, I think, a misperception that, oh, Christians think they're perfect. They think they're better. Well, I guess you're, you know Christians that I don't know because the ones I know, me included, number one, of all, couldn't be more aware of how not perfect I really am. So, that's just a good quote. I'm not suicidal, but I am a, I'm a soul trapped in a body. I didn't ask to be born, but I'm afraid to die. It puts us at a point where we have to ultimately address this. Even if this is the only time in your life you addressed it, you still have to address what you believe happens next.